All right, we are back and I hope you did that little exercise because it was very simple. You just needed to replicate it to the other colored buttons. So here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to solve this little exercise. So I'm going to go to the red button and I'm going to drag this code to, for example, the orange sprite. This will duplicate the code inside the orange sprite as well. So I'm going to release the mouse and I'm going to go to the orange sprite and notice that this code was duplicated inside the sprite as well. Now instead of broadcasting red, for orange I'm going to broadcast a new message. So in the drop down I'm going to select a new message. I'm going to name this orange. Now I'm going to go to pencil and I'm going to right click on this small piece of code and I'm going to click duplicate. So when I receive in this case orange, I'm going to set the pen color to the appropriate orange color. So I'm going to hit the eyedropper and I'm going to select that orange color in the button. And I'm going to do the same for all the other colored sprites now. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. All right, so I have every single button sending a new message when it's clicked. Now I'm gonna make the pencil receive those messages and set the pen to the appropriate color. Again, a little fast forward. Okay. All right, so we have small scripts here for every single color for the pencil. When any one of these colored buttons is clicked, they will broadcast a different message and the pencil will react to every single one of those messages by setting its pen color to a different color. Let's test it out. So if I stop and start the application again, the pencil starts with black, but let's change the colors. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So all the colors are working properly. Now let's focus on the buttons on the second layer now. We're going to program those and I'm going to start with the magic wand whose purpose is to erase what we've drawn on the stage. Now you might think that erasing colors selectively here on the stage might be complicated but it's actually not. It's basically drawing white on the stage. It's the same as erasing because the background is white. So the user of this application will not be able to tell if we're erasing the color or just drawing white on top of it. So we're just going to use this dirty little trick. All right. So when we click on the magic wand, the erase button, we're just going to broadcast a message to the pencil to switch the costume to the magic wand and just draw white on top of it. That is set its pencil color to white. So I'm going to go to events. When this sprite is clicked, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. So when this sprite is clicked, I'm going to broadcast a new message. So I'm going to broadcast a new message. I'm going to call this magic wand. Okay. And pencil, the pencil sprite, when it receives the magic wand, it will change its costume and set the pen color to white. So when I receive the magic wand message, I'm going to set the pen color to white. So I'm just going to right click and duplicate it, or you might want to drag it from the pen section here and then click inside the set pen color to and drag the second slider all the way to the left and the third slider all the way to the right to make the color completely white. Okay, then go to the looks section and make the pencil sprite switch its costume to magic wand. Okay, so if I start the application again, I can draw something on the screen. And if I hit the magic wand button, notice that it changed its costume. And if I draw on top of it, notice that it starts erasing stuff. Now let's implement a similar mechanism for the pencil button over here. So I'm going to click on the draw button. And I'm going to go to events. And when the sprite is clicked, I'm going to broadcast a new message that I'm going to name pencil. 
and the pencil sprite, when it receives the pencil message, it will set its pen color to black and switch its costume back to the pencil. So I'm just going to duplicate this little script. So when I receive the pencil message, I'm going to set the pen color to and I'm going to drag the third slider all the way to the left until the color becomes black. Okay, and then switch its costume to pencil. All right, so let's play around with the application a little bit. So right from the start, I have something to fix because the default costume for my pen is not the pen, it's the magic wand. And if I start drawing, we have the magic wand costume, yet we're still drawing on the stage. This is wrong. So I'm gonna stop the application and right at the beginning when the flag is clicked, I'm going to set the costume to pencil. So I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to switch the costume to pencil. So if I start this again, notice that the costume went back to pencil. So if I hit the magic wand, it's able to delete. And if I hit one of the colors, well, this is wrong because we still have the magic wand costume, yet we can draw in a different color. So this is again wrong. We need to fix the pencil sprite to switch its costume back to pencil when we click either of the colored buttons. So I'm going to switch costume to pencil B when I receive any one of the colored messages, red, orange, blue, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to add the purple code block in every single one of the receive scripts. So I fast forwarded a little bit. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video and add the purple block to every single one of your colored receive scripts. All right, but right now I'm going to test the application and notice that when I have the magic wand and switch back to a colored block, the costume is switched back to pencil and the color is the correct one. All right, so we have three more buttons to go, which fortunately are going to be pretty easy to program. Let me click, for example, on the grow button. So when the grow button is clicked, we'll need to tell the pencil to increase its pen size. Now, you're already familiar with sending messages, so that means broadcasting a new message that the pencil will react and increase its pen size. So I'm going to go to events, and when this spread is clicked, I'm going to broadcast another message, and I'm going to name this grow pen size. Okay? And the pencil sprite will react to that by saying, when I receive grow pen size, I'm going to go to the pen section and I'm going to add this green change pen size by one. This is exactly what I want. And in a similar fashion, the shrink button will act in the same way. So when this sprite is clicked, I'm going to broadcast a new message and I'm going to name this shrink pen size. All right, and we'll make the pencil react to that. And I'm simply going to duplicate this last script that I wrote. And instead of grow pen size, I'm going to select shrink pen size. And instead of changing pen size by one, I'm going to change it by negative one, which means I'm decreasing the pen size. So let me test this out. So I'm going to stop the application and start it again. And I'm going to draw a few things on the screen. I'm going to select a different color and I'm going to click this grow button a bunch of times. So one, two, three, four. Notice that when I draw again, the line is so much thicker, which means that the messages had the desired effect. Let me click on another color and click the shrink button size a bunch of times and notice that the pen size is so much thinner now. Cool, so we have four out of five buttons working nicely. The last button is the easiest of all, this erase all button. So when this button is clicked, we want every single mark on the screen erased. And this is very, very easy. When this sprite is clicked, we want the pen 
to erase all the marks on the screen. And that is it. So if I stop and start the application again, and if I draw a bunch of things on different colors, and if I hit this button, everything will go away. Bam. And at this moment, I am glad to say that we are done. We have a fully functional paint and draw application that you created from absolute scratch. And I'm very proud of you and what you've learned here. So you created your own sprites, you learned about the pen tool, you made it follow your mouse with just a tiny little script, and very importantly, you've learned that sprites can broadcast and can receive messages and be programmed to react to them. This is something that we'll use throughout the rest of the course and all the complex games that we'll create will rely on messages. In the meantime, enjoy what you've learned and feel free to even improve this application that we wrote together. And I will be waiting for you in the next lessons.